guys, welcome back. So today I'm going to be playing around in this Moods palette by Laura Sanchez. As you guys know, this is the palette that I got in my latest Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. This is the back of this palette and she decided to use emojis to name her shadows as opposed to actual words because she said emojis are universal. So I think that's very cute. So this palette does come in a slide out carton. This is what the actual palette looks like with this cute little crystal ball on here. And when you open it up, it is a full on picture. And I actually believe this is her because on her Instagram, I saw her in a kind of multicolored wig. So these are the shadows. As you can see, you do get four mattes, four shimmers, and two highlighters along with a double ended brush. And there is a mirror in this palette. Now what I will say about this palette is that I do believe that these colors are true to what they show in the pan. You do get a nice combination of kind of warm neutrals to play around with as well as some really pretty pops of color. It might not look like you can do a lot with this palette because there's only eight shadows and two highlights. But I definitely can see a lot of different eye looks that you can create with this palette. Now both highlighters look a bit light to me so I don't think I would use those to highlight with. But definitely they can be used for an inner corner highlight or a brow bone highlight. They're very very pretty for that and the white one actually looks like it has a little bit of a duochrome situation going on. So let's go ahead and jump into this look. Of course, I'm starting out with my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot to prep my lid with. You guys know I love this stuff, so I'm just going in with that before I start this look. So the first shadow I want to use is this red. And I'm not going to try and use the emoji names, you guys. We're going to say red, blue, purple, and green today, okay? <laughs> so I'm just packing that red into my crease, as you can see. And although it doesn't look like it's an extremely pigmented red, this red is more of a pink, pink toned red. You can see that in the palette. It's not a deep, deep red. It has kind of more of a pinky tone to it. So it is definitely true to what's in the pan. And I think it's very pretty, very, very nice color. Now I'm going in with this light tan shade and I'm just using that to buff out the edge of that red. And it did take me a little while to buff that out, you guys. Not that it was hard to blend out. It just is a very, very light shade, extremely light. But as you can see, it worked out nicely and it did blend it out. Now I'm going into this beautiful purple shade and it is a shimmer shadow, so I'm wetting my brush with some rose water and I'm just going to place this on the inner and outer corners. I wanna do a bit of a halo eye today, so that's what I'm going to do. Now this purple, as you can see, it's gorgeous. It did take a few times of me going into the pan just to get it to that nice deep purple that I like, but I wouldn't say it's because it's not pigmented. It's just because I really wanted to build it up a lot. <laughs> so this is what that purple looks like. Very, very pretty. Now I'm going into this teal shade and placing that on the center portion of my eyelid for this halo eye. Now I started out with it dry just to see how it would look. And although it's pretty, I did want to go ahead and add some extra pop. So I wet my brush. And as you can see, it did make a little bit of a difference. Now I'm going to go in and just take what's left over on that purple brush and blend out the edges of this halo eye just so that everything looks like a nice seamless transition on my lid. I'm also gonna go in with that red that was left over on the brush and just blend out my crease area as well. Of course, I'm using my Wet n Wild Black Liquid Eyeliner. I said I'm just going to go in, create a nice little wing, you know, something simple. And the next thing you know, I'm out here looking like Batwoman <laughs> with this humongous wing. Y'all know how it go. 
So I'm using my Too Faced Prime and Peachy uh, Primer today. Y'all, I like this stuff. I forgot how nice and matte it makes your face. I like it. I put it away for a while, but I'm gonna have to use it some more. I'm going in with my Revlon 24 Hour Color Stay Foundation today. And this is in the color Cappuccino. As you can see, this is definitely my summer shade. <laughs> it's very chocolicious, okay, but once I finish with my concealer and my bronzer, we will pull everything together and make it match. So I'm using my Revolution Concealer and this is in the color C13. As usual, I'm just placing this in my areas that I normally conceal and highlight. And I'm going to be blending it out with a damp Real Techniques sponge. These sponges are very nice, you guys. If you haven't tried them, definitely try them out. They're not expensive at all, and I really like how they get the job done. They're very soft. See, I'm almost at my regular color. <laughs> now, I did bust out my Collab setting powder. I haven't used this stuff in quite a while. You guys know this has been my favorite forever and forever. But I put it away so I could try out some other powders and I decided to use it again and yep, I still love it. Now I'm going in with my e.l.f. powder that I used to set my face and you guys, this is actually a bronzer. It's called Constantly Bronze. But I love the way that this sets my face and just the tone of it is perfect for my skin tone. So yep, I'm using it to set my face. Now for bronzing, I'm going into my Balm Morphe bronzer, okay? This is in the color Phenom. And you guys, you want a Balm bronzer? Check this one out. I love it. It's perfect for my skin tone. It just adds the perfect amount of shadow on my jawline without it being too harsh. And it just blends in really nicely with my, my color. I love it. So I'm also going in with my e.l.f. blush today, and this one is called Always Spicy. I didn't want a lot of bright color on my cheeks today, so I just picked one that would blend in nicely with my bronzer and my highlighter. And as you can see, this one does just that while, uh, while adding just a small amount of color. So I'm using my e.l.f. Modern Metals Highlighting Palette. Very, very pretty. As you can see, it sneaks up on you real fast. So <laughs> you gotta be careful with that highlighter because girl, you will be shining. Using it on my nose. And I'm also gonna use it on my brow bone today for this eye look. Now to move back to these eyes, I'm using my Rimmel Scandal Eyes, and this is one of my colored eyeliners. And what color is this? Teasing Turquoise, very pretty. I'm going back into that purple, and I'm going to use that to just kind of create a purple line right under my lower lash line. I wanna kind of just bring the colors that I used on my lid down to my lower lash line as well. So I'm placing that just under that teal shade. And now I'm going into that red and just using that to smoke out this lower lash line as well. Now for inner corner highlight, I'm using this shimmery pink shade in here. It's a very light, pink or peachy type shade, and I'm just placing that in the very, very inner corner of my eyes. And I didn't even spray my brush for this, you guys, and it popped pretty nicely. I'm using my Ellery and ColourPop Lip Liner. Y'all know I love this color. It's so pretty. It's like a deep burgundy shade. And so I'm using that to line my lips, and I'm going to use my new Ray Ray lip gloss that I got from BH Cosmetics. This one is in the color glass. And although it's very pretty, it's a little bit pink to me. Um, I think I prefer the Alyssa Ashley Elf gloss because it's not as pink. 
So I'm using my It Cosmetics Mascara. This is the superhero to pump up these lashes today for this look. And this is the final eye look, you guys. I think it's very pretty. I really, really like this palette. I think that although it's a very simple palette, not too many shades, you can definitely create some very pretty colorful eye looks with it. So I like it. I'll have to play with it a little bit more just to get a feel for the mattes. I don't think the mattes are anything to write home about, but the shimmer shadows I really think are gorgeous. This purple and teal came together very nicely. So thanks so much for watching my video. I will see you on the next one. Toodles!